Uh, hi, this is uh, theoretical bullshit once again. I um on my last uh, my last post the uh, the uh, can Christians have morals or how do Christians know right from wrong something like that. I don't know what I called it, but um, I received a comment on my on my thing. And I I don't really know how this works. I don't know how you um, respond to something like that. So I'm just posting another video and I'm going to read the comment. Um, it says, I have not watched any Christianity versus Atheism videos, so I don't know anything about your debate. However, in answer to, requ uh, to your question, yes, God is the absolute authority. Okay. God is the creator of everything. He is all-knowing and all-powerful, the beginning and the end. Before time began, he was. So if God is the creator, then he is the final authority. Okay, I'm following you. He, didn't, he defines right and wrong, and that's why we have the Bible. The Bible gives us the standards by which to live by. Uh... You are correct. You cannot put a standard value or judgment system on God. How do you evaluate God? God, uh, how does the corrupt and imperfect evaluate the perfect? The evaluation would be flawed from the beginning. Okay. Um, the problem with that is what standard are you using to make the assessment that God is perfect and we're corrupt? You don't have a standard to evaluate that God is perfect and we're all. The only standard you have is God's standard. And you have no standard outside of that to evaluate if God's standard is a good one or not. It's subjective. You're admitting that morality is subjective in your worldview. Now, it's, it's, you know, it's God's opinion versus yours, versus mine. The only difference is I base my you know, moral standards on things like reason, common sense, experience, um, uh, testing, hypotheses, predictions, so on and so forth. Uh, you base your morality on... Well, nothing. Somebody else's definition, I guess. Um, uh, so that's the problem. Um, you have no moral standard. Um, morality doesn't mean anything other than what God says is right and what God says is wrong, and right and wrong become completely meaningless. You're saying that we're too corrupt so that we can't... Um, uh, we're so corrupt that we can't... Uh, um, assess whether or not God's doing a good job, but no, the word corrupt is defined by God himself anyway. God defines himself as perfect, he defines us as, well, okay, if it's my word versus his, how about I define myself as perfect and, and him as corrupt? There's no way to balance, there's no way to check uh, whether or not one assessment of reality and morality is more um, accurate or... or um, practical or useful than, than another. And that's the problem with Christianity. Um, you have no real moral standards. And I do.